We've been inundated with um, calls, emails asking uh, for this. People are really concerned about their safety. With violent attacks on the TTC occurring with alarming regularity, a local martial arts academy is now offering a self-defense course specifically for when you're on public transit. It's very focused on certain situations. People have been asking how to avoid being pulled or pushed in front of a moving vehicle, for instance. How to protect yourself in an uh, enclosed area. And uh, last one, there's been a lot of weapon attacks, unfortunately. So we're really focused on that from a sitting position, but also standing from various directions. So we're blocking, striking, ideally at the same time, moving off a line and getting away. The 90-minute course offered by the Civilian Self-Defense Academy uses techniques from the Israeli martial art Krav Maga, taught by coaches from the Toronto Krav Maga Academy. Basically, what we're trying to teach them is to defend themselves and run away. And Krav Maga really, really trains that into your body over and over. We're not looking to engage into a kickboxing match or a boxing match. We want you to escape. Good. I've been attacked twice since I started training Krav Maga. And because of my training, the first thing that was on my mind was not, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to attack this guy back. It was, okay, I need to de-escalate and walk away from this and just get home safe. And I, because I had training, I did exactly that. The course is open to those 14 and older and many parents have registered their children. Salt says there's a greater sense of urgency following the recent stabbing death of a 16-year-old boy at Kiel Station. Since that attack happened over the weekend, we have had lots of parents, the parents who registered emailing us asking to get their kids in sooner. Parents are scared of what's happening on transit and we would like them to feel slightly better that their, you know, that their loved ones have some tools. You're going to deflect with this hand on the outside of his left. Yes. And yeah, while the course looks yeah, to provide good. practical yeah. skills to ensure your safety, it also aims to help develop situational awareness so you never have to use them. We say avoidance is the best self-defense. If you can look around, understand your surroundings, see what people are doing with their body language, it's something you, you can practice and become better at. You have to be aware of your surroundings, your escape routes, uh, etc. Palm strike, okay, right to the face. Oh, to the face, okay, or just wherever it lands. Some people think like, how can you learn how to defend yourself in an hour, hour and a half course and everything. I wouldn't take a first aid course and CPR course and pretend I'm a doctor, all right? That's not the case at all, right? We're just trying to introduce you to the basic uh, premises of self-defense with the goal to escape again, you know, and hopefully you'll continue the training on your own. We're not here to make it to a full-fledged fighter like John Wick or something like that. Now the upcoming classes for April are all full up, but I'm told that more classes will be added for the coming months to keep up with demand. For City News, I'm Dilshad Berman.